What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back and we are back with another video today and it is on how to prepare for the market crash or the roster update I should say and here it is guys. This is an episode where I just go over all the cards and what I think is going to go down and up in value and since the roster update is coming a lot of cards are going to jump in price go down and all that good stuff so let's get into it but as per usual Drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, sub if you are new. Let's get this vid to 90 likes and I will give away 10k to a random guy who comments. You can drop anything in the comments. We're getting closer and closer to your subs. Be sure to drop that sub and let's get into the video. So, okay, so a bunch of people were talking about who's going to get upgraded and who's not going to get upgraded. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to start it off with Anthony Rizzo. And Okuna as well. All the 84 and 83 gold. So we got Ronald Okuna right here for 7,900. What I think is that he's going to stay in 84. And I think that tomorrow at about Friday 12 Eastern, you should sell his this card right here. I have seven of them. I would sell him at Friday. This is pre-recording because I have work tomorrow. So tomorrow at Friday 12 Eastern, you're going to see his card be probably at like 8 to 9K. If you see it at 8 to 9k, I would go ahead and sell him. Wait till Friday at 3.30 Eastern when the market crashes and packs come out. And you could buy him back for probably 5k and make a ton of stubs off that way. So do I think Ronald Okuna is going to go diamond? I do not. He's been playing like absolutely just awful. And I'm going to show you the stats right here. Ronald Okuna over the last week is literally 4 for 28. If those stats are good, I don't know. He has 12 strikeouts and one walk. He's been playing lousy. Does he go diamond? There's no shot. If he, if he goes diamond, I'm suing MLB. So yeah, we got Arcuna first, and he's definitely not going diamond. We got next up, we got, where is he? Anthony Rizzo at an 83. If you guys noticed, his price went up about 3 to 4K. He, no, he went up 3K. He's at 4,400 stubs. He's been playing absolutely amazing. I think he might go to a minimum of 84, maybe diamond. If he goes diamond, you're going to make a ton of stubs. But tomorrow, you may see at his price around 8, 7, 8K. If you see it around 7, 8K, I'm just going to sell him not to take a risk. Because if he goes up to 7, 8K and he doesn't turn diamond, the safest bet is making your subs now. But if he goes diamond, if you want to take the chance... If he goes diamond, you will make him more stubs. But if he doesn't go diamond, you're going to lose stubs. So you want to try to sell most of your investments at about 12 Eastern Friday. Because when packs drop, they all drop in value. Especially if they don't get upgraded. So let's keep going. Trevor Story. He's at 5K. He was at about 2,300 the other day. Probably about three days ago. I have 14 of him. Okay, so people are iffy about this car going diamond. In my opinion, I don't think he goes diamond. I think he goes up to an 84. So if you guys could get him for under, I would say, 3K, that would be a good pickup. Right now, do I think he's going to be diamond? It's hard to say. I don't think he's been that dominant to go diamond. So honestly, at about Friday, 12, 12 Eastern, I'll be selling my Trevor Stories and making stubs off him. I bought all of them for 2k and under, and I have 14. So that's a ton of stubs right there. So let's get into the next car. Trevor Bauer. This guy, uh, he's been lousy. For 1,200 stubs, I would just go pick up as many as you can. I think he goes diamond this year, even though he's been crap over the last like three games pitched. But I still have faith in him. He's been good for a couple seasons straight. I think he should go diamond this year. And so pretty much this video is just about a bunch of investments. Do I think Matt Chapman is going to go diamond? Let's check the stats. Let's see what his price will look at tomorrow. So right now, over the last two weeks, he's 14 for 54. So his average isn't the best. He has four dingers. Power could get upgraded. Do I think he goes diamond? Honestly, I do not think he goes diamond. Tomorrow, you're probably going to see him at 7K around 12 Eastern. I will be selling all my Chapmans. I have 15. I really don't think he goes diamond. I honestly don't think anybody goes diamond in this update. If anyone goes diamond in this update, it's going to be Matt Chapman or Story. Do I think they're going to go diamond? Mm, probably not. I don't know. If any, Honestly, the closest one to being diamond, let's check Story stats, would probably be... Mm, Trevor Story's 4 for 6 today. 
Trevor Story might go diamond. Over Chapman, I have Story going diamond. I don't think Chapman's going diamond. And Zach Greinke's a sleeper, bro. Zach Greinke's 2K. If you guys could pick him up, his stats are unbelievable over the last, well, a couple starts. He has one earned run, three earned run, zero earned runs, one earned run, one earned run. Over the last four starts, six strikeouts, five strikeouts, seven strikeouts. So he has one loss, but he had seven innings pitched, three earned, five Ks, one walk. Dra Zach Greinke has been very good this year. And honestly, I, th I think he gets upgraded to an 84. He's just been playing amazing. I really think he gets upgraded to an 84. If you guys could pick up Zach Greinke, I would pick him up before the roster update. He may go up a lot in stubs. But also, if he doesn't get upgraded at 3.30 Eastern Time, he will go down in value just because they drop headliner packs and everybody spams them, including myself. And also, Friday I will have, today I should say, I will have a ton of vids. I'll have three videos up on the new content, on the new packs. I'm going to do a huge pack opening, a 75K bundle, and the four headliner packs. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, guys, also, I want to show you Hunter Dozier. I know a lot of my subs have a ton of Hunter Dozier's. He's at 231 stubs. He's back. He had a crap. He had like two weeks ago, he had really bad. The last two weeks, he's been batting amazing. Yesterday, he had a double and a single. He's still playing absolutely amazing. What I recommend you to do, I think I have 30 of him. I have 35 Hunter Dozier's. What you should do, tomorrow, all your bronzes, silvers, golds, all your investment at 12 Eastern, 1 Eastern, 2 Eastern, before the update at any time, just go ahead and sell all your investments. You will make a ton of stubs. I don't care if they go up in overall. If you guys realize over the last couple uh, couple of weeks of the roster update, even if a guy goes from bronze to silver, they lose value just because so many people put them up on the auction thinking they're going to make stubs. But realistically, if every single person in the whole entire MLB community is posting them after they turn silver or gold, you're not going to make stubs. There's going to be way too many players on the auction. Yours aren't even going to sell. You're just going to keep getting undercut. So the best time to sell them is around 12 eastern that's what i do every week i make a ton of stubs you can check my aftermarket videos and it shows you how many stubs i make and yeah there's also whip merrifield i'm gonna check his stats whip merrifield has been pretty decent do i think he gets upgraded i i really think he has to get upgraded 20 for 50 over the last two weeks i, I like he needs to get upgraded the fact that he's still an 82 with 48 power is just not normal like, mm, I think his stats are disrespected. He needs to go to an 83, 110%, needs to get upgraded. For 1K, he's going to be 1K on the crash. Literally, by now, he'll probably be like 1,100. So, I highly recommend you go pick up your Whip Merrifield. I think he's going dime this year. Let's see. Another investment we were talking about the other day, Raphael Devers. He's up to what? He's up to 325 stubs. I have seven. A lot of my subs that I told about three weeks ago, I said pick him up. He's 77 stubs. Nice, 325. I know a guy that one of my subs has 100 Devers. He got him for 77 stubs. He's going for 325 right now. His price is going to jump to probably 400 tomorrow. And you're going to make even more stubs off Devers. So that's awesome. I'm just curious. Let's look at Josh Bell's price. And this guy is going to go to a gold. I'm thinking 81. What I recommend you guys to do, if you have this car, just sell him now. I do not see his price. I mean, like, uh, his price is amazing. Like, it's way too high for a silver. If he goes gold, I really think his price is going to drop. People are going to try to make a ton of stubs off him. People probably got him for, like, if they kept him, if they invested in him about a month ago for, like, 100 stubs, he's literally, you're going to make 19 times the profit. So... When the market crashes at 3.30, you're going to see a million Josh Bells up on the auction. Honestly, I would go ahead and sell your Josh Bells now and try to pick them up Friday 3.30. Today at 3.30 Eastern. That's the best option for Josh Bell. Once again, I don't think Okuna's going diamond. He's been playing like crap. And let me check one more player. Let's do Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is down to 2,700. And honestly, I'm going to go pick him up. I'm definitely picking him up. Mm, actually, no, never mind. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at 2K. His price dropped. He was literally 10K like three weeks ago. His price dropped meds. Is he going to go down in overall? It's very possible. I do not think he maintains 82 unless he starts heating up finally. But yeah. So guys, recap of this video. I'm just going to tell you guys. 
to go ahead and sell all your investments before Friday, 3.30 when they drop the, con 3 o'clock when they drop the content. And the market will crash at about 3.30 Eastern time when the packs, everyone's spamming packs, everyone starts putting their investments up. So yeah, that's all I recommend you guys. And yeah, so pretty much that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we got a guest star low key in the video the whole time, my boy Desenso. What's going on? And all right, guys, that's all I got. Peace out. Make sure you follow my tips. They will work. You'll make stubs. And that's it. Peace out. Hey, yo,